Kawasaki disease is an acute febrile illness in children usually less than 5 years of age. It was first described by Tomosaku Kawasaki in Japan in 1967. Now Kawasaki disease is known to occur globally. Important features include fever, rash, swelling of hands and feet, lymphadenopathy and involvement of eyes, lips, throat and coronary arteries. The most important sequelae of Kawasaki disease is coronary dilatation and aneurysm formation. As per data available on the US Centers for Disease Control and Prevention website, incidence of Kawasaki disease ranges from 9 to 20 per 100,000 children below the age of 5 years. 5,440 hospitalizations with Kawasaki disease were reported in children under 18 years of age in the United States in 2016. Of these, 3,935 children were under the age of 5 years. This corresponded to a hospitalization rate of 19.8 per 100,000 children in that age group. SEDSCO has been used for classification of coronary aneurysms in Kawasaki disease. American Heart Association classification of coronary artery aneurysms based on SEDSCO is as follows. 1. no involvement with set score less than 2 always 2 dilatation only with set scores from 2 to less than 2.5 or a decrease in set score of 1 or more during follow up if it was less than 2 initially 3 small aneurysm with set score of more than 2.5 but less than 5 4 medium aneurysm with set score 5 or more but less than 10 and absolute dimension less than 8 mm 5 large or giant aneurysm with set score 10 or more or absolute dimension 8 mm or more the decrease in dimension in class 2 over time means that Though the diameter was in normal range initially, it was actually dilated for that person and decreases in size over time. Factors which favor regression of coronary aneurysms in Kawasaki disease 1. Age less than 1 year at onset of Kawasaki disease 2. Smaller aneurysms have greater chance of regression 3. Distal aneurysms are more likely to regress 4. Fusiform aneurysms regress more often than saccular aneurysms. Overall, about half to two-thirds of coronary aneurysms in Kawasaki disease have been shown to regress on angiography within 1 to 2 years of onset of illness. In contrast to coronary aneurysms which can regress with time, stenotic lesions are more likely to progress as they are due to intense myoindimal proliferation. Progression of stenotic lesions are more likely in those with giant aneurysms. Worse prognosis is for those with giant aneurysms of 8 mm or more diameter. Though echocardiography is the most commonly used investigation for aneurysms in Kawasaki disease and coronary angiography the gold standard, MDCT is a useful non-invasive modality for long-term follow-up. Eulnastatin, a urinary trypsin inhibitor and a suppressor of neutrophils, has been shown to reduce the rates of coronary lesions in patients with Kawasaki disease. Higher plasma levels of neutrophil elastase and markedly activated neutrophils have been associated with poor response to intravenous immunoglobulin and coronary artery lesions in Kawasaki disease. The retrospective study could identify 369 patients who were treated with a combination of eulnastatin, intravenous immunoglobulin and aspirin. 1178 patients who were treated with IVIG and aspirin served as the control group. Long term data on follow up of patients with Kawasaki disease and giant coronary aneurysms is available. 76 patients with giant coronary aneurysms from an institutional database since 1972 were identified. 
the average age at onset was about 3 years and the median fall off was about 2 decades seven of them died and one underwent cardiac transplantation over the follow up period the survival rates calculated were 95% at 10 years and 88% at 30 years about 2/3 of them had undergone surgical or catheter based interventions to alleviate coronary ischemia the others called for further research on the role of coronary interventions in those with coronary aneurysms following kawasaki disease here are the first set of references second set of references third set of references thank you for watching this video please subscribe like share and post your valuable comment below this video kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates